Overview of My Repairs. From the My Summary page, select My Repairs. This will take you to Repairs Summary. Under Property Address, if you have more than one tenancy, for example a residential and a garage tenancy, you can select which property you would like to log a repair against by selecting the applicable property from the drop down menu. You can see details of currently outstanding and historic repairs. You can view repairs within a specific time frame by inputting dates in the date from and the date to field and then selecting view. View must be selected in order for these dates to be returned. Each repair will detail the reference number, details of the fault, status and reported date. If the status is raised, this means the work order has been created and is waiting to be authorised by housing staff. If the status is issued, this means the work order has been created and sent to the contractor. If the status is completed, this means the works order has been raised, sent to contractor and the work has now been completed. On the left hand side of the repair is an action button which will provide drop down options of view repair details and view job details. If you select view repair details, you will be taken to repairs details, which will provide you with details of that specific repair. To return to repairs summary, you must select back on the top left. If you select view job details, you will be taken to view job details, which provides the full description of the repair. To return to repairs summary, you must select back on the top left. If you wish to report a repair, you can select report a repair on the right hand side against the applicable property. This takes you to report a repair, where you can select from the relevant category. Each category is broken down into further subcategories. For example, if you select floors, walls and ceilings from the initial list of categories, this is divided into further subcategories of external walls, flooring, internal walls and ceilings, and wet tiles and wet walls. When you select the appropriate subcategory, you will see help information which provides related terms and conditions. Once this has been viewed, you can select the hide help button, which removes the help information and displays the relevant items that can be repaired within that subcategory. Please note that if you wish to see the help information again, you can select the show help button at any time. To select an item to be fixed, use the applicable repair option. This is displayed visually as an image to help you identify the correct issue. Once you select the issue, more information may be displayed about it and there may be further questions to be answered or advice provided, such as, is this an emergency? If so, please call this number or is this the only toilet on the property? You may also be asked for further details such as the location of the issue or through additional comments. Once this has been provided, you can select Order. This will ask you to confirm your name and email address. If these details are correct, you can select Submit. If the details are not correct, you will have to amend your details under Contact Details. Once the Submit button has been clicked, you will receive a confirmation of the repair being successfully created and will have the option to raise another repair. Alternatively, you can select Back to return to Repairs Summary.